the grace of the lord be with you welcome to a new video from mountain moving press thank you for stopping by if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and pressing the bell button to receive notifications of future uploads all our content is created by the help of the holy spirit and in alignment with the teachings of jesus we love jesus and his teaching and we wish to grow in that love with each new day if you also have a similar desire then you are at the right place and we thank god for bringing you here if you know of anyone who has a similar desire please do a favor to them by sharing this video with them on that note let's begin with our reflection when a healthy man falls sick it is obvious he faces some kind of distress and suffering and when his sickness is diagnosed depending upon the severity of the diagnosis his sorrow and pain increases proportionately but in this entire process the only thing that brings joy is in knowing that there are reliable and affordable medicines to deal with the sickness and that the patient will regain health and return to normal life very soon but if on the other hand there is no assurance of healing or if the medicines are way too expensive or if the treatment is something that is a lifelong matter then the sickness becomes a cause of prolonged distress and suffering from the above example we understand how a few changes in the parameters of the sickness that one is suffering from can make a tremendous impact on the person having the sickness now unlike these physical or emotional ailments the scripture reveals how human kind suffers from a common sickness called sin romans 3:23 tells us all have sinned and fall short of god's glory now in a world economy where a person's survival and growth is so heavily dependent upon personal branding who would accept the reality of one being a sinner which politician or businessman or service provider or religious leader will present himself or herself as a sinner as someone who has missed the mark or as someone who has fallen short certainly there will be no one who will be willing to acknowledge that they have sinned in their thoughts words and deeds because if they do so it will cause an existential crisis for them when all the self esteem self aura and larger than life self image projection is bringing in the cash flow who wants to disturb the trend by giving in to the idea that one is a sinner the gospel tells us how christ jesus came as a man embraced the death on the cross to reveal our sinfulness for without sin there is no need for an atonement to prove that the atonement was real god raised jesus from the dead and this truth is not only recorded in the scripture but the spirit of god continues to witness with extraordinary signs and wonders to the death and resurrection of christ wherever the word of god is proclaimed the crucifixion and resurrection of christ is the remedy for the sickness called sin this remedy is available to everyone who desires to repent and seek a healing for the spiritual sickness that is in all of us a sure shot remedy is available and it is available free of cost why then be unfaithful to ourselves and pretend to be healthy while we are actually badly sick and in need of immediate treatment on the other hand 
If someone says I have no sin or I haven't sinned at all they are just speaking out of ignorance only the spirit of god can heal such an ignorance an ignorance that keeps a person chained to sin by denying its reality but for everyone who has faith in god and in his son jesus the diagnosis of the spiritual sickness is not a cause of pain or distress or suffering but a cause of great joy and celebration for only when we allow christ to be our paschal sacrifice we can rejoice in the lord always with ever increasing gratitude and devotion let us pray sovereign lord the maker of heaven and earth the seas and everything in it we worship you we adore you and we bless your holy name lord the scripture reminds us that what no eye has seen what no ear has heard and what no human heart has conceived are the things that god has prepared for those who love him but my lord and my god before we could love you you have loved us before we could utter your name you have carved out our names in the palm of your hand before we could come to you you came to us to make our home with us before we could honor you you honored us by making each of us the temple of the living god what else can we say o oh god other than just to look at your awesome plan and deeds and rejoice in them holy lord help us to rejoice at the great and mighty works that you have accomplished for us help us to understand and taste your steadfast love that you have revealed through the works that you have accomplished on our behalf you o oh god have allowed us to be born in sin so that you could take up the sin upon yourself through the journey from the crucifixion to the resurrection you have prepared a perfect remedy for our sinfulness and by your victory over sin and death we can now live and walk with hope and that too without denying any aspect of truth in our lives eternal father let your fatherly love convince us o oh lord that if you are for us nothing can stand against us even the worst kind of sin and negativity will not have any dominion over us because you are a faithful god and loving father o god of truth and love deliver us from all those artificial things and methods of life that steal the blessing of living a life of holiness and righteousness according to your word and spirit o living god the scripture in 1 john 1:9 says if we confess our sins he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness so here in your presence o god using the very words of the psalmist we pray have mercy on us o god according to your steadfast love according to your abundant mercy blot out all our transgressions wash us thoroughly from our iniquity and cleanse us from our sin we make this prayer in the name of jesus your beloved son amen our father who art in heaven Hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as you also forgive those who trespass against us and do not bring us to the time of temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and 
blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death amen all glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen peace be with you